You're going to have to excuse the mess in here today. I'm in the process of doing a little bit of uh, rearranging. And I have some trash I had to take out. And I said, you know what? While I'm in the mode of taking out this trash, let's address this giant piece of human garbage. Rush Probst. Uh, okay, so Rush Probst is on a recording accusing Nick Saban and Kirby Smart of buying players, paying players, buying recruits, paying players, whatever. Okay. Uh, I, I don't even know where to start. I, I think everyone knows who Rush Probst is. Uh, he, he's a legendary high school football coach. Now, there's a reason he's remained a high school football coach and has never made it past that. And that's because he wins a ton of games wherever he's at. And then he gets fired, usually for ethical reasons, right? Uh, go back to the MTV show Two It Ace. He's the head coach at Hoover High School. They're winning a ton of games and state titles, yada, yada, yada. That all comes crumbling down. Uh, it turns out uh, Mr. Rush Probst, uh, who had an amazing, lovely family uh, that he liked to show off in public, also happened to have a totally secondary family. This guy had a complete second family that no one knew about. Not, not a mistress, uh, you know, not, not a girlfriend he was seeing on the side. Nope. An entire second family that was completely hidden and separate from his first family. I, you know, he's fired from there. Uh, you know, the grade issues. and all, Everybody knows all, that whole thing. Uh, he gets run out of the state of Alabama. He comes to Georgia. What was he at? Colquitt County or whatever it was. Fired from there after winning a bunch of games. Now he's at Valdosta. And guess what we find out last month? Last month, what do we find out? He's under investigation at Valdosta High School for what? Buying players. Buying high school players. Oh, holy hell. And, all, and, and now people, oh, he's on tape. Listen, if there's anybody that's dumb enough, well, let me say this. Are Georgia and Alabama buying players? I don't have any idea. I've got no clue. Nothing surprises me in the world of college football anymore. But I don't believe for one second that Georgia and Alabama are buying players or paying players because Rush Probst said so. I wouldn't believe anything this degenerate dirtbag uh, ever said. Nothing. This guy, th this guy's moral compass is about as mollywopped and jack-legged as you possibly can be. This Rush Probst. So they're investigating him for buying high school players down at Valdosta. He'll be out of a job soon. Don't worry. He'll be out of a job again. I mean, this is what this guy does. He bounces around from job to job to job. Yes, he's a, he's a pretty good football mind and a football coach. Wins a lot of games. But his attitude, his personality, his lack of character, uh, and, 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 and his inability to follow any code of ethics is going to do him in just like it does everywhere else he goes. But if there's anybody out there to believe for one second, one second. Hey, hey, this, is, this is what makes this story impossible for me to believe. Well, it's a combination of two things. One is that it comes from Rush Probst, a human degenerate dirtbag piece of... Scar I wouldn't wipe Rush, Rush Probst off the bottom of my shoe if he was stuck there. No, I would just continue to walk around on him. Uh, but uh, So one, I don't believe anything Rush Probst says. Two, the player he specifically names. Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb. Now, there are plenty of college football players that have come and gone from colleges across the country that you might point to and say, you know, that kid, he looks like he might have some issues. He looks like he might have some, a questionable character. I don't know if I trust that kid. I don't know about this. Or I don't know about that. You can't say anything, any of those things about Nick Chubb. There is not a soul alive who has ever had one bad or, or negative word to say about Nick Chubb. And the accusation isn't even that Georgia bought Nick Chubb as a recruit or paid him to sign with Georgia. No, that's not it. It's that after his junior year, <laughs> Nick Chubb accepted $180,000 to return to Georgia for his senior year. $180,000. Instead of 10, 15, 20 million, whatever he would have made had he entered the NFL draft that year. Now you have to remember Nick Chubb's junior year was not a great year. That was his first full year back following the uh, knee uh, uh, injury he had had the, uh, the year prior. And he didn't put up amazing numbers, at least not compared to the following year when he was back to 100%. Nick Chubb came back to Georgia to increase his draft stock and get his degree. Period. End of story. Period. End of story. Um, and Nick, Nick Chubb's not hiding from this story. Nick Chubb's not running from this story. 
Uh, Nick Chubb's not putting his hand, head in the sand and pretending he hasn't heard this. Uh, he's not hiding behind uh, lawyer statements. He's not hiding behind a PR firm with some kind of canned response. No. As soon as he hears this nonsense, he goes right on Twitter and says, well, this ain't true. He just right out said, this isn't true. Fake news, he said. Not true. Now, who are you going to believe? Rush probed human, de human degenerate scumbag piece of trash. Imagine having an entire second family on the side. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, and, and he's on recording with the whole, uh, yeah, yeah, George is buying players. But, oh, and you, you, yeah, you should listen to the recording, this guy. He sounds like such an idiot. Uh, oh, yo, Kirby's from West Georgia, and he, he knows the richest man in Banbridge, the richest man in Albany, and he's got the two richest people down there, around, down, around, around there, and so he's got the four richest people, and what a coincidence, three $60,000 donor checks come in right around the same time Nick Chubb decides to come back for his senior year. Yeah, the, 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 the four richest guys in Georgia... And they gave $60,000. Whoa, whoopity whoop. $60,000 is a ton of money to an idiot like me. To the four richest people in Georgia, $60,000 ain't that much money. But yeah, but because $60,000 was given to Georgia uh, at some point in time, that clearly means they paid Nick Chubb to come back to Georgia for his senior year. That was the risk Kirby was willing to take. <laughs> you know? Uh, if you. If you're gonna walk, if you're if you're gonna straddle the line, if you're gonna push the envelope, if you're gonna try to bend the rules or even break the rules, that's the hill you want to die on. Let's pay Nick Chubb to come back for his senior year. Yeah, right. Nobody believes this story. Nobody, nobody believes this story. Uh, here's the thing. And, and again, I'm not saying I don't believe this story because it's impossible that Georgia pays players or Alabama because he mentions he mentions Georgia and Alabama. I'm clearly a Georgia fan, but so he he talks about Georgia and Alabama. Um, in the video. I'm not on here telling you, oh, this is BS because there's no way Georgia pays players or Alabama pays players. Uh, first of all, I I see a difference in when, it, when you talk about paying players, I see a difference in, a, in, in the so-called $100 handshakes or free meal at a restaurant versus most people's idea of paying players, which is checks written in the tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars to a player or his family or whatever. Uh, things like what were going on at Ole Miss. Things like what was going on at Tennessee that got Pruitt fired. I'm not one of these people that believes that's happening everywhere. There are some people that, that believe that. I'm not one of them. Um, but I'm not saying it's impossible that Georgia or Alabama have ever paid a player or a recruit or uh, whether you want to talk about the $100 handshakes or whatever. But it's not because Rush Probst says so. It's just not. This guy's a degenerate human piece of crap. He's not even hot, dude. dude. No, no. Rush Probst is, is like the crusty, almost turned to ash, old pile, don't even stink no more piece of doo-doo, this guy. He's been a degenerate for so long, uh, he's liable to just... You, you know, what's the movie? Is it Avengers Endgame? What, what's the... Thanos? The bad guy with the power glove for whatever the hell, the crystal's in it. And he snaps his fingers and half the population of the world just disintegrates. Rush Probst is that kind of piece of doo-doo. And honestly, I wish he would just disintegrate, disintegrate and go away. It's Rush Probst. I'll tell you right now, if you're a high school football player at Valdosta and you've got hopes and dreams of playing big-time college football, you better get the hell out of there now. Now. You think Georgia or Alabama or any, really any other big-time program, after what Rush Probst had to say, the other day, you think any big time program's gonna take a chance going down there to recruit a Valdosta kid? Hell no. Hell no. No. So if you're Valdosta, the best thing you can do is to do what I've been doing today. Take out your trash, fire rush probes. If they don't, and you're a football player at Valdosta, you better get the hell out of Dodge, Jack. Have a good morning.